is not a threat to it. We may have to rethink our strategy. Well done. Arisen, are you all right? Skeletons! There are. Holy attack was... Just yonder. Looks to be a good spot for harvesting ingredients. Shall we see if there's aught to be found while we're here? Hang in there, master! I am coming to assist! I seem to recall there being a treasure chest in this area when I explored it in other worlds. Shall I lead the way? no bearing on our current conversation, but might I say, 
Something to note. None of our number are trained in the healing arts. Athel may be trying without someone to cure our wounds. Have a gander at my wares. You shan't regret it. My duty to hear the people's concerns. I've a knack for gathering items and am ever on the hunt for new finds. I'll gladly try out any useful mechanisms I espy. I'll take that. We might find a use for it. <sighs> Hold fast, Arisen! I will be with you in but a moment! A ladder yonder. You'll have to excuse me. I have a job to attend to. Now, what might that be? We ought to take a closer look. If our destination is a distant one, travel by ox cart might be worth considering. Walking everywhere is certainly tiring. We're sitting out. Jump on if you paid. Such a magnificent tapestry of stars. It's no great shock to me. These fiends are only truly defeated when their skulls are smashed beyond repair. Material. I'm sure we'll find a purpose for it in due time. Served, preferred to have beastrons for allies. Each to their own.
goblins! What rotten luck! We've need of your aid again, sir. No sense letting the enemy gain the upper hand. The early griffin gets the word, as they say. Was excellent. I could have done no better. Seems we drove them off. You've my thanks for aiding us. Vernworth isn't far from here. Will you join us the rest of the way? All right. Into the ox cart, then. I was informed of your coming would be arisen. Captain Brandt, this individual summoned a pawn through a rift stone. Several witnesses can attest to it. Though I admit I had my doubts at first, it would seem this is no mere deceiver. This one's not a bad sort. Saved our hides on the way here. As decreed by the great will of our world, there can only be one arisen. That Arisen now resides within the palace. Indeed, he is our sovereign and the rightful ruler of Vermont. It follows, therefore, that this ruffian before us is naught but a pretender. You must submit to questioning. If you value your life, you will not attempt to flee. I shall conduct the interrogation myself. Stand watch outside. I beg your forgiveness for my insolence, Your Majesty. If the Queen Regent had learned of your existence, I fear your life would have been in peril. I had no choice but to treat you as a pretender, lest my actions draw suspicion from watchful eyes. Your anger is well justified, and I shan't deny you it. However, I am obliged to make you aware of your situation. Your arrival would have robbed the Queen Regent Deesa of everything. During the time of the previous Consul, she acted as a Queen in her own right, ruling the palace as she saw fit. And just after the Consul's passing, when twas all but certain that her son would take his father's place. Word reached the castle that the Arisen had been found. To Deesa, your majesty's very existence is naught but an obstacle to her own family's continued prosperity.
The assassination of the Arisen is an impossible feat for mortal hands. Thus, Deesa chose to abduct your majesty while you recovered from your wounds. In order to rob you of your memory with a fell curse and sell you to Batal as a slave. Following that, she prepared a replacement to serve as the sovereign in your stead. A mere puppet. However, with your majesty returned, I have no intention of twiddling my thumbs as Deesa plays her games. I shall devise some plans to further our cause. Pray, visit me a night in the tavern that we might discuss them. This one's cleared of all suspicion and has my permission to remain in the capital. You are to trouble the good sir no further. Pray forgive me, I'm in a bit of a hurry. <laughs> Consarn it! Get back here! You there! Did you see an urchin in a cap run past just now? Can you tell me which way he went? Thought you could hide, eh? Oi! Seem well. Now I've got to stay tired. I'm not trained for this. This ladder looks sturdy enough to climb. Good day, sir. The latest tidings from Melv came as quite a shock. It has been was a tragedy to those who suffered the beast's attack, to be sure. But I, I thought to myself, with the dragons coming, the Arisen shan't be far behind, and indeed, we have our Sovereign! Still, that I would see this kingdom restored to rightful rule in my... So, need anything?
Stop by again soon. Our packs are heavier, and our purses far lighter. These were necessary expenses, mind. No use clinging to every last coin. They say the Sovereign's up in the palace. Recovering from seems driving away the dragon took quite a top. It is a right miracle he yet lives, if you ask me. I've heard some interesting tidings about town. Regarding the Vermundian military, yes? It would seem the Queen Regent has made significant alterations to the chain of command. Pray, allow me to open yon chest. Welcome to the Star Drop In. We serve all manner of fine ales here. Shall I pour you a cup to start you off? What a delight. to the star drop in we serve all manner of fine ales here shall I pour you a cup to start you off always a pleasure oh what does this say let's have a look then I've an eye for people, and my instincts tell me you're of trustworthy ilk. I'm in a bit of a quandary, you see. I'm to be gone for a week with no one's fear not. I only ask your name to list as a tenant. I'd be much obliged if you'd simply consider my home a wet sound appealing. Then come on by and have a look, see. I've taken the liberty of marking the location on your map.
Good evening, sir. I trust you fared all right on the roads, despite the hour. Getting proper rest is an important duty in its own right. In another world, a bold and mighty warrior was the pit. Did we hunt a few monsters to start the day off? Come. We've much to be getting on with. A new day, a new perspective. A ladder here. After you arisen. Lots to do. Precious little time. Ready for the morrow. It gladdens the heart to see so many smiles. Say, have you been to Hall? Well, if you do visit, you might want to give the old man who lives there a wide berth. I hear he sets out to sea on his boat, day after as if that wasn't queer enough. He's at I cannot fathom his obsession. I suppose Really now? You mustn't shirk your duty, lest you forget tis the arisen we serve here. I'm well aware of that, thank you. I suppose I could indulge you. Mm-hmm. 
place. That looks promising. Any ideas as to how we might reach it? Again. Need anything? Many thanks. This really is fine craftsmanship. This part's a little different as well. I'm in fun. Well met, Doc. How might I be of service? Interested in my wares? I enjoy tackling fierce foes and prefer combat's thrills to gathering items. I am confident and may act independently. I have nothing further to add. It will be a joy to serve one so gallant. They say thieves strike swift as the wind and sudden as a thunderbolt. I shall endeavor not to disappoint.
This rumor has been troubling me ever since I first caught wind of it. Apparently, there is an illness we pawns can catch beyond the rift that makes us a danger to ourselves and others. Symptoms include an unruly attitude and overconfidence, and in the end, we turn our backs on our master and our duty. How terrible. We shall have to be alert for signs of the sickness among our number. This ox cart's bound for Melv. I'll not take you anywhere till I've had my due. Let me get that. Methinks this can only be destroyed from the other side. Nothing else for it, I suppose. Ingredients are plentiful hereabouts. No harm in picking a few.
This is generally used as a material. Different combinations of materials result in different creations. Seems there are wolves on the prowl! I doubt ice will be of any use against it. The enemy retreats. Is the mark of a champion to prevail with weapons sheathed? One might confidently call that a resounding victory. We mustn't allow ourselves to become complacent. Take each trial as it comes. Enough to break any man's spirit, this. A fine place to harvest some ingredients. I say we collect as much as we can carry. You can do as you please, eh? Where are you time. going? If our destination is a distant one, travel by ox cart might be worth considering. Walking everywhere is certainly tiring. Where are the Saurians? Fire won't do much good here. 
Best try a different tack. You're soaked. Do try not to catch cold. was well fought. There's no one standing who might say otherwise. No doubt this triumph will spur us into the next. This is generally used as a material. I'm sure we'll find a purpose for it in due time. Should have taken this shift. Perhaps this will seem of little consequence, but some masters rearranged their party at the drop of a hat. One such arisen dismissed me after only half a day of service. Each to their own. One can never have too many materials. I'll harvest some now. Ah, here we are. The ox cart made it without too much trouble. Mayhap we could employ a cart for our next journey. What does this say? Let's have a look then. Whatever am I to do? It will near get done if I stand around talking. Again, sir. Say, have you brought some fruit robberant for me? Oh, so this is what it looks like. Brilliant. Many thanks, sir. I haven't much to offer in return, but I'll be sure to tell Grandfather what you did for us. He'll want to reward you proper like, I'll bet. One could not have hoped for a gladder outcome.
fancy look at my wares. Well met, sir. How might I be of service? Always a pleasure. Not buying? That's just as well. Better to be selective than wasteful. Browsing was enough to scratch the itch in my case. I am attentive and loyal, and prefer to remain by your side. In battle, I shall follow your lead and prioritize support. We ought to put it to good use. What are you doing? We've not been given leave to rest yet. Pray, allow me to open yon chest. <laughs> <laughs> 